This content is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. The content is provided for reference only and does not claim to be exhaustive or complete. Users should always consult with a qualified and licensed healthcare provider. Reliance on the content is solely at the user's risk. Bag valve mask ventilation. Give bag mask ventilation for any patient who is not breathing or not breathing adequately, either too slow or too shallow. Any patient who is unconscious with abnormal breathing, slow, shallow, gasping, or noisy, or any patient with a pulse who is not breathing. Avoid over-aggressive ventilation using a bag valve mask. Do not ventilate too fast or with too much pressure Otherwise, you will cause damage to the lungs. Large volumes of air or high pressures can result in a pneumothorax or irreversible lung damage. Gather supplies. Bag valve mask with appropriate sized mask for your patient, oxygen tubing, and an oxygen source. Attach the BVM tubing to the oxygen tank if available and set the flow to the highest rate. Do not delay bag mask ventilation. Oxygen can be attached later. Place the mask over the patient's mouth and nose. Put your hand in the EC position. Your thumb and first finger should make a C around the top of the mask and push down evenly. Your last three fingers should reach just under the bony part of the jaw, looking like an E, and pull the jaw upward to open the airway. Think about pulling the face up to the mask and pushing the mask down onto the face. If you push down too hard without pulling the face up to the mask, you will block the airway and the patient will be difficult to bag. If you have problems ventilating, reposition your hands and the mask and try again. If you are still unable to ventilate after repositioning the mask, consider the possibility of a foreign body obstruction or air leak. Be sure to insert an oral or nasopharyngeal airway device if not already in place. Hold the bag in one hand and depress the bag enough to make the chest rise to about one third of its volume for an adult. Squeeze the bag over one to two seconds to provide chest rise. Giving the breath faster can cause lung damage. After each breath, allow the chest to fall before giving another breath. Watch the chest rising and falling evenly with each breath. If the patient is breathing on his or her own, deliver breaths when the patient takes a breath during inspiration. Do not attempt to deliver a breath as the patient exhales. Give one breath every six seconds, a rate of 10 breaths per minute in an adult.